The scene shows the vacuum of space. Master Chief. So we have a Spartan down. John. We don't know his or her condition, but we don't leave anyone behind. Jerome. Copy that commander. They descend to the source of the signal as it starts raining. Master Chief. This is the area setting it down. Cortana. At least you didn't crash at this time. John. How many birds has the chief crashed? Cortana. It was Arrow. Master Chief. Enough. Meanwhile on the ground as the land was being poured on by strong rain. A little while and the MK3 and the Pelican lands only to see battle damage around the area. The Spartan team walked towards the origin of the signal. John. Cortana status? Cortana. The beacon is still transmitting. Douglas, sir? John. What is it, Douglas? Douglas. Do you think you were too hard on them? John, who? Alice, your friends from this world, sir. John, they mean well, but meaning well isn't an excuse the disaster they brought upon the innocent people of both Mantle and Atlas. Master Chief, sometimes to save lives, we must put our needs last. John, and they put their need to be heroes first before the people, they didn't think about them first. Imagine if they failed and Cinder got what she wanted and Atlas still falls on Mantle. Cortana, the death toll would be in the thousands to ten thousands. John, precisely. We ODSDs learned that we need to put the need of others first. That is why we jump into hell to bail out the Marines when they needed it. Jerome, as a commander, we need to think about our men. John, that's good, Jerome. You are a capable leader. Jerome, thank you, sir. Master Chief, hmm, look, he spotted gunshots around the area. Alice, hmm, this battle was a while ago. Douglas, these bullet holes are familiar. Master Chief, Cortana? Cortana. These are AR rounds. The other marks seem to be made by animals or grim. They followed the path of destruction until they come upon a body. Cortana. UNSC tag. Spartan Commando 1337. Master Chief. 1337? Douglas. The guy who went MIA? John then opens the cockpit of the MK3 and hops out. John, is he alive? Cortana did a scan for his vitals. Cortana. The armor is in survival mode. Power is down. Detecting damage to his servos, especially the hands. Master Chief knelt and inspects his hands and saw it was heavily damaged. Master Chief. It seems like he went in swinging for a while. Cortana. Yeah. Wonder what he ended up punching to dust? They picked him up and get him in the Pelican. Red Team was on guard outside while John and Master Chief were attempting to reactivate the armor to revive 1337. Cortana. Looks like the power cells are fried. Auto shut down triggering survival mode. John. Hmm. Looks like we need to overwrite. If you can hear us in there, I hope you're ready. Please don't die. As he attaches power cables on his back and attempted to hotwire the Mjolnir armor when he connected the cables, sparks bursted and blew John away. Master Chief. Commander, you all right? John Peachy. As he grunts and stands up but then. 1337. Of what? John. Easy Spartan. You were out for quite a while. 1337. How long? Cortana. 14 months. 1337 what? That long. John. Spartan. Status report. 1337. I, um, I was able to evacuate the entire colony before I disengaged from the Covenant. But they pursued me for a while until I was able to fool them by throwing cargo and setting of explosions in an asteroid belt. Fooling them into thinking I died within the field. Since I ran out of food years ago, I triggered my armor's survival mode and the cold sleep chamber in my ship. John, what were you piloting? 1337, an experimental ONI ship used for long-range ship, the Prowler. John. Where is it? 1337. Scuttled. I enacted coal protocol as per the directive. John understood. Did anyone else come with you? 1337. No, sir, just me. John. 
All right, Spartan team, let's get out of here and head back to the Spirit of Fire. Master Chief. Understood, Red Team. 1337, let's move. John the proceeds to board his MK3 until he felt something was watching him. He looked around with his DMR but saw nothing. He then suited up and took to the skies with the pelican. When they were out of reach, a shadow walked out. We found them. 